In the last tutorial we started with the Photoshop sliced image uh, using the Photoshop CSS that it had generated and we started replacing that with our own CSS and this is where we ended up which is we have our div set up um, overall a wrapper div that's holding a header, a nav, a set of div called big image and another one called footer. Uh, right now there's not much to look at because there are no images in there so the task now is to get the images where they belong inside of those divs. So here's how we're going to do it. I'm going to go back to Text Wrangler and here are the divs and if you think about what's going to happen um, we're going to treat these a little bit differently, so not everyone is going to be the same. In the header, so the header is this part that's got the gradient background and the logo, and then it's also ultimately going to have some other things here. What I want to do is put the gradient in as a background image. In the nav, I want each of these gold areas to be clickable. So background images aren't clickable so I'm going to put these gold images in as conventional image source equals so that I can make them into links. The big green area uh, simply background so I'm going to put that image in as a background image and then this area here that I'm calling footer again it's not going to be clickable in this case it's simply a background image so I'm going to put it in as a background image. Um, so let's start with first of all we want to get that gradient in there and if I go to Photoshop and I could conceivably turn off these other layers and end up with this just the brown area and save that all as a background image but that's a pretty large image so much more efficient way to do that is to take in the marquee tool the single row, so it's a one pixel row, and I want to click in an area where I'm going to get the whole gradient all the way across. So that would be here. That gives me the entire gradient. So I'm going to copy that, Command C. I'm going to create a new document, Command N for new. I'm going to call that brown BG. You can call it anything you want. You notice it automatically, Photoshop sets it up to the width and the height of what I copied, so 960 by 1 pixel. There's my brown. I'm going to Command V, paste it in there. So now I have that 1 pixel wide strip of the gradient. File, save for web and devices. Because it's a gradient, I know it's going to work best as a JPEG and 51 quality generally for me works pretty well, so I'm going to leave it at 51 quality. I'm going to click on Save, and in this case, I simply want the image. I don't want any HTML with it, so I'm going to do Images Only. I've got an Images folder already, so I'm going to put it in there, save it. Because I've done this demo earlier, you can see it's already there, but I'm going to just replace it with my new one. And now I've got an image to put into the header. So back here in Text Wrangler, in the header, Back, um, what I'm going to add is background image URL and if we look at the folder here's where we are it's in the images folder and it's called brown BG JPEG so my path name to that is going to be images the name of the folder brown BG JPG and then close parentheses. Alright, so I've added that background image to the header. Let me save that. Go back here, refresh it, and there it is. Um, that one pixel image is repeating from top to bottom. I don't have to put in repeat because by default all images repeat in both directions, top to bottom, left to right. This is only wide enough to hold one version of that left to right, and it repeats it as many times as necessary to fill that. Okay, so that's a background image, and while we're at it, let's put background images in here and in here, because we have already decided that background images are going to be the way to go. 
So to make life a little bit simpler, I'm going to just copy this piece, which we know works, and I'm going to add it in here, put a semicolon, put that in there, I'm going to add it to the footer, semicolon, paste that in there, and now, of course, if I do, like, if I save it, let's just take a look. If you figured out what's going to happen, they're all going to be like that. Well, that's not really what I want. So I have to put in the proper image names. So rather than using the brown BG image, let me see which one I want. So if I look at these, there's my gold ones. Image 10 is the one that I want in the div called big image. So I'm going to take that copy that. Go back here. Images is the folder and the file name I'm going to paste in right there. File name is Tricy Homepage 10. For the bottom piece it's that one there. Tricy Homepage 11. Let me co oops. copy that whole thing. Command C to copy it. Down here and copy and paste is usually the best way to go because therefore no typing errors are going to slip in there. Um, and if I look at it now, all right, there we are. So, so far so good. Um, what I've got now is the ones in position as background images that I want as background images. And now I simply have to put in these images here as conventional images, not as background images, because I want them to be clickable. So, I'm not going to do it in the CSS because that's not where you put images in. That's where you put background images in. And now I'm going to just actually get rid of all of this Photoshop generated CSS because I don't need it anymore. Um, I'm going to get rid of that comment. And now I'm going to put in what I want. So, inside of the div called nav, I want to put an image, img, source equals, well we know it's in an images folder, just like all the other ones, but I don't remember its name, so I'm going to go back here. Okay, it's, this is the image, so let me just copy, oops, let me get the whole thing, be sure you get everything, copy, paste, and then let's just see if that's what we want. Save it. Uh-oh, something's wrong. So let's go back here. Image source. Image. Oh, you know what? I didn't get the folder name. It's The folder name is images with an S. Images with an S. Let's try that go back here. That's more like it. Okay, now one thing we also need to do though is we've got a width 367 by 74 so that should be in the HTML here width equals 367 height equals 74 and don't forget the alt text. Alt equals, and we want the alt text to represent what that image shows. So it's really college credit and degrees is what that image is all about. So I'm going to put it in there just as it is college credit and degrees. That's what that represents. Um, let's save that. Go back. Should look the same because we haven't really changed anything. Okay, fine. So now once again, since I know this is working, I'm simply going to cut and paste to get the other ones in there. So there's one. So here's what I've added. Image source equals with a height and a width. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste it in again and one more time because there's three of those. But each one is a little bit different. So let me check this one. Image 8 is 291 by 74. So the second one, so there's image 7, 
this is image 8, the width is 291, height stays the same, 74, and this one is called Workforce Solutions. So I'm going to change the alt text on the second one, oops, to Workforce Solutions. And then I'm going to do the next one, which is number 9. It's 302 by 74. So there's 7, there's 8. This is going to be 9. 302, 74, and it's called Personal Enrichment. E-R-S-O-N-A-L-E-N-R-I-C-H-M-E-N-T, Personal Enrichment. Save that, go back here. All right, so there we are. And we can make these clickable by wrapping them in href tags so that they could become working links. Now, the last thing to do is we want to put the logo in. And I'm going to do that. So here's the logo right here. It's called Tri-C Homepage PNG. So I'm going to copy that, get everything, Command-C, copy that. And that I want to be up here in the header div. So go back here in the header, and I'm going to do once again, image source equals, the folder is images, and the file name, oops, command V, it's try see homepage PNG. Let's get the height and the width. It's 107 by 120. Width 107. Height equals 120. And then the alt text for that equals try C logo. And then don't forget to self-close the image tag with that slash. Save it. Let's go back and look at it one more time. Okay, we're almost there. The only thing at this point that I need to do is move it away from the left, so give it some margin at the left and margin at the top. So let me once again go back to Text Wrangler. And in order to do that, there's a couple of ways I could do it. I think in this case the simplest way is I'm going to make a class and I'm going to call it Logo Top because I want to deal with this particular logo. And that Logo Top, I want to have a margin left. I'm going to guess at about 20 pixels and a margin top of about 20 pixels. And let's take a look at it and see what happens. But before I can look at it, I've got to assign that class to something. So here is my image. So this image source, number four, that's the logo right there. And I'm going to put the class class equals logo top. So the job of that class is to just move it where I want it to be. Save that. There it is. Um, looks pretty good. I'm going to turn off that red border because at this point that's nothing but distracting. I don't really need it. So let's go back real quick and do that. Just get rid of this. Save it, go back here, look at it, boom, we're done.